We just arrived from the test drive. This is very much, that's my home. This is the condition of the car. This is the seat, absolutely brand new. The car is in incredible condition. The wood is very, very nice. Obviously being always garage kept. You can tell there's no dry, very nice and shiny, no cracks whatsoever. This is, you see the rest of the wood in the interior. And here is the headlighter, the sunroof, everything in the car. You can see is in incredible condition. This is the passenger seat. And let's see here how the sunroof, obviously the sunroof work. Oh, this is hot start. I mean, the car looks very much like brand new. No issue whatsoever. Zero issue has, of course, the side airbag as well. Adjustment for the for the uh, seat belt. And let's see, those are the headrest. They do, obviously. Everything work. The seat. back seat I don't know what you guys think I don't think it's come any better than that I cannot call it a time capsule because it's only 99 but in four years this will be a collector car actually factory tinted window carpet that's my bag let's take that back nice this is the back of the seat, 100% fine. Obviously like exactly the way it was. Very new car. And let's see here. This is the back seat. Trying to not to go too fast so you guys can have a clear idea. Everything in the car work. There's the cup holder. Those are, of course, they do work. You bring them manually with your hand. And now you have a headrest for the back. But then you go to the front. It's a bush button here. You push that. We'll bring all of them down. Obviously, AC work for sure. Sunday's final round of the PGA. Let me tell you something. That fits a pure. I like to find some classical music. I'm not very well educated. 
complicated and sound music, but it sounds right. Horn work. Let's open the hood. See what's in. What the car when it's running hot what might stick up because we've got the plastic to cover the nice uh, have the shadow shiny trim close the mirror Not the V6. Everything exactly like brand new. That's a factory grease. Perhaps I can tell you about it. You guys probably know about it more than me. better video later on when the sun is better for the body looks like a little touch up in here uh, probably one or two millimeter of touch up in here I don't see anything else so far Exactly front right wheel, front passenger side. That's the mirror, no issue. It rained about two, three days ago, so it was outside. Shot the trim very nice. The wheel, nothing against curve whatsoever. Here's the rear bumper. Here's the back. Turbo diesel, that's a nice sign. E300, the lights perfect, bumper is perfect, no scratches on the bumper whatsoever. Oh, this trunk open. This is the floor mat, they are old. It is what it is. I mean, definitely can use a new floor mat. But let's see here, this is the condition of the trunk. I will add just normal picture later on. This is the rear tire, obviously brand new, never been used before. Uh, here's the condition of the trunk, obviously it's brand new. Nothing to say, those are the tools. And I don't know what those bubbles are for. Those probably for cleaning or to add to the car for uh, more like, oh, summer wash. Some kind of liquid, I think, to add to the wash. Uh, those are clips, nothing mean, mean nothing. And here the condition of the trunk lid. Uh, 
uh, I don't know for sure, but I will say for a 99, probably this is the cleanest one in the USA. Unless somebody has someone with 2,000 miles or 5,000 miles hired in a garage. These guys are being driven regularly, so, but not much, obviously. This is a factory thing, I think. Otherwise, I don't know what that is exactly. 